Hey everyone, so here's a question on factorization and the question is factorize ax square plus by square plus bx square plus ay square. Here we cannot apply any identity because all are squares and we have a four terms here. Then how to solve this? So here we're going to do a grouping and then we're going to take the common factors out. But which numbers to group? Now here if you look at the question, we have a x square here, we have x square here, right? So x square is common in these two terms. The next one, we have uh, by square and ay square. So y square is common in these two. You can also group ax square and ay square. In that case, a will be common and here by square and bx square also you can take out. Anyway, you will get the same answer at the end. Now, I'm going to rearrange this term. So this is equal to, okay, let me write down the question first. So here is the solution. We have a ax square plus by square plus bx square plus ay square. I'm going to rearrange the terms. So ax square plus, I'm going to take this bx square here. I'm just rearranging the terms and then I'm going to add on by square here. So by square plus ay square. Now I'm going to start taking common here. If you see here, we have a x square, x square, which is present in both the terms, right? I'm going to take out this x square outside. So x square, if I take out as a common, then if I take out this x square from here, what is left? Only a is left, right? So it will be a. Then we have a plus sign, put plus. And then again, same thing. In this b x square, if I take out x square, then b will be left. So here I'll get b. Then plus in the next two terms. Again, if I take y square common, because y square is present in the last two terms. In the first one, v, b is present. If I take y square common, and the last, a is present. Right? Now, again, look at the question. Here we got a plus b. Okay, in this term, we have we got two terms now. One is this term and another is this term. In these two terms, what is again common? It's a plus b. See, a plus b is present here. It's a plus b or it's a b plus a. Anything is same. So this we can take again common, right? So I'm going to take out a plus b outside now. If I take a plus b outside as a common, in the first term, if a plus b is gone, what is left? x square is left. So we'll get x square plus same thing. If a plus b is taken out, what is left? y square. So we'll get y square. And this is the answer. a plus b into x square plus y square. So this was a simple problem. This can be asked for two marks. I hope it's clear. Now in case you have any question or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.